Hi everybody, now we will sail across the Nile in Egypt, in Aswan, towards to the oldest monastery in Egypt, there Ambahedra, monastery of Ambahedra. Now we can see the old monastery on the left, this is the old monastery, and on the left there is a new monastery instead of the old one this is the desert of the Aswan in the west bank of the Nile leave me to the marvelous place this is the new monastery The monastery is located behind a hill in the west bank of Aswan in front of Elephantine Island. It is usually visited by tourists taking a camel tour. The real name of the monastery is Ambahedra. It was founded by an anchorite who was consec consecrated a uh, bishop of seen by Patriarch Theophilus during 30, 85 to 40, 12 AD. The tradition tells that just after his marriage, at the age of 18, he encountered a funeral procession that inspired him to preserve his chastity and he decided to be a disciple of Saint Perimene. He also dedicated his life to the studying of the life of Saint Anthony. Ambahedra died during the time of the Theodos I. The monastery was built during the success of the 17th century and it was reconstructed during the 11th century. It suffered great damage during the Ayyubid rule 12th century as their troops were following the Fatimids who escaped to Nubia. Travelers tell that during the 13th century Ambahedra was once one of the biggest monasteries in Egypt. Maybe it was abandoned because of lack of water or because of attacks of the Nubians. The monastery is built around a cliff that separates it into two levels, all surrounded by a six meter high wall of limestone and unpaved bricks, which once had towers and look out. The upper truss can be reached by a stairway from the north wall of the church. It consisted of a large keep with individual cells for the monks and a refectory of a kitchen and several workshops that had provided a permanent living quarters for the monastic community. The lower entrance of the lower terrace lies under the east wall beneath a defense tower opening to a vestibule with a pearl uh, vaulted roof that leads into the monastery. The terrace has the original rock caves of the saints, the church with its baptistry, baptistry and lodging for the pilgrims. The church was built in uh, the 10th century. All the lower part of the church survived, however, it still gave us an important example of a dome, a long church similar to the Fatimid architecture of the epoch. The plan of the church consists of a nave, two side aisles, and two octagonal domes. 
The room at the east end of the south aisles served a papistry uh, at the west end of the north aisles of the church. The structure rests against the rock which delimits the lower terrace. In this place, there is an ancient Egyptian rock tomb that was used by the monks. Most of the paintings of uh, the elements and the 12th century on the wall are destroyed. But we can still observe on the dome scene of the Christ and angels. On the north wall, there are still some paintings representing the elders of Revelation and on the west side of the church, there is a painting representing the Virgin Mary and the ceiling of the grotto is adorned with geometrical designs that date back to the 6th of 17th century. The cemetery of the monastery is considered a great source of information about early Christians their condition and their habits. The remains of the monastery are also a great treasure for archaeologists and historians as so much of the monastery are ruins. Many of its basic features are still well preserved. Now we can see this vestibule and cells on the two sides of it. Consider a lodge, lodging for uh, the monks. And refractory, the kitchen over there. All that had provided a permanent living quarters for the monastic community. Here we can smell the history, the old history, here on the desert of Aswan, the southern city of Egypt. Egypt is considered the land of history, really the land of history. Pharaonic, Coptic, Islamic, and Romans, a compound of civilizations here in Egypt. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like it and share if you want. Excuse me, my English language, I think it's not very good, but I try. This is the cell where the monks live in. We can see some of paintings on the wall. This is the kitchen of the place. I saw that.
but here in the summer it's so hot for that i advise you to come to egypt especially to aswan the southern of egypt in the winter When I see along this place, I feel like ages, ages, it's ages, long ages. Thank you for following us and I hope I hope enjoy you enjoy this tour in the oldest monastery in Egypt. Thanks.